Assalamu alaikum students I hope you all are fine today we are going to start our new chapter and its name is the progressive civilization of the chinese so this chapter is basically related to the civilization of the china now let's start in the east chinese history goes back to nearly 5000 years just as the indus valley civilization of south asia So in simple words we can say that Chinese civilization is as old as the Indus Valley civilization. This civilization grew in northern China around the Yellow River and then expanded to include the area around the river Yangtze. So the area included in the in the civilization around the Yellow River and also around the Yellow River Yangtze. Chinese civilization has a rich cultural heritage as it developed a system of writing, philosophy, art and political and administrative organization. So the main features and the main cultural heritage characteristic of the civilization included writing, philosophy, art, political and the administrative system also. The civilization started with agriculture, hunting, breeding and rearing of farm animals. and has continued without without a break for over 5000 years to the present as the only one of its kind in world history so because of their progressive struggle because of their progressive work this civilization grew and has the only one of its kind in a world history and the proper name and the popularity in the today's world also chinese dynastic rule china was ruled by dynasties and each contributed to its history culture and progress so what's the meaning of dynasty dynasty is basically a line of hereditary rulers of a country so we can say that china was ruled by a lot of rulers and each contributed to its history culture and progress the earliest known dynasty is a uh, Jia followed by the Shang, Zhu and Qin and Han which are well known. So the correct pronunciation of these Chinese dynasties are this one is a Jia and this one is a Shang and this one is a Zhou this one is a Qin and this one is a Han. This The Zhou dynasty ruled for the longest time and ruled for over 800 years which included the reign of 37 emperors so the longest dynasty is the Zhou dynasty and uh, it included the reign of 37 emperors so basically it ruled by 37 emperors 37 rulers its achievement in economy politics science and culture were far ahead of the shang dynasty now come towards the next page so the two important events of the period were the development of a writing system as revealed in archaic chinese in inscription found on tort uh, tortoise shells and the flat kettle bones commonly called oracle bones So the most important two inventions of the civilization were the development of a writing system and it revealed in archaic Chinese inscription archaic is basically the old fashioned Chinese inscription found on tortoise shells and flat kettle bones which is also known as oracle bones and the use of a bronze so bronze is basically a alloy and a mixture of copper and tin so uh, some of the inscription also write down wrote down on the bronze metallurgy metallurgy is basically a method um, and a study about the use of a metals a number of ceremonial bronze vessels with inscription date from the shang period ceremonial bronze vessels are those vessels that are basically used in a different events or different ceremonies so in the ceremonial bronze vessels um also used with inscription date from the shang period the workmanship on the bronzes bears witness to a high level of civilization workmanship um, means the peoples who worked on the bronze so these are the clear witness to a high level of civilization now come towards exercise 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज वेन एंड वेयर डिड चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन बिगिन सो द आंसर इज ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टी थ्री नाउ कम टूवर्ड्स द आंसर सो द आंसर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लाइन इन द ईस्ट चाइनीज हिस्ट्री एंड द एंड सेट रिवर यंग जे नाउ कम टूवर्ड्स द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Name some of the famous dynasties that ruled China, especially the one that ruled the longest. So now come towards the page number thirty-three, and the answer is: These are the name of the famous Chinese dynasties. The earliest known dynasty is the Jia, and the answer ends at thirty-seven emperors. Now come towards the exercise again. So the question number three is: Explain the two great Chinese inventions and why are they important to civilization? So the answer is on page number thirty-four. So the answer starts from this line. Two important. You just cut down the events and write the invention. Two important invention of the period were the development of a writing, and the answer ends at metallurgy. And write down this line at the end of this answer. These inventions contributed greatly to the progress of Chinese civilization. So I hope you understand the today's lecture. Note down on your book and learn it very well. Take care and Allah Hafiz.